by taking a look along the coast. Sure enough, no treasure here. Paimon knows that! Paimon just can't help feeling a little disappointed, that's all. There's a wooden sword here! It looks like a children's toy. Hey! The thing I sensed. Could it be this wooden sword? Surely it couldn't be a wooden sword. me timbers! I remember now! The sea battle between Akordomiki and the Shogunate, and then the lightning that came at the end of the battle. Oh, what could it have been? Will blow me down. Just a fraction of the Thunderbird's wrath, and yet still so powerful. Wait! But the lightning came from Seirai Island. Traveler, have you been there? Do you know what happened to the island after that? No. I can't believe it. It was a truly terrible thunderstorm, it was. Ah, I don't have the words to describe the horror of it. We stood up against the Shogunate precisely because we did not want our homeland to be ruled by them. We wanted to protect the people of Seirai Island. We made an enemy of the Shogunate for the sake of Seirai Island, and in the end... Oh, Shrine Maiden, why? Wait, so that thunderstorm was the reason I... The reason I drifted here. I... I was terribly injured in that storm. My whole body was falling apart. It took all my strength to get here. Aw, Mitaboru. But what about the wooden sword? What does this have to do with it? This wooden sword? is made from a broken timber. Zaimon once seized a sword-wielding Magu with his barbed spear. The Magu drifted here with us. The wooden sword was probably crafted by local children imitating the Magu's sword. The body of the mighty pirate ship that once fought against the Shogunate, now reduced to a children's toy of all things. Arr, my mind is awash with strange and complex feelings. So, Mitaboru, should we take this with us? After all, it is a part of you. No, there's no point taking this now. <laughs> Young scallywags. The little landlubbers got me this time. <sighs> Although it's disappointing now that I remember the truth, somehow I feel relieved too. At least I know what happened. I won't be deceiving myself with my wishful thinking any longer. The only thing I'm worried about now is my old mateys who drifted here with me. I wish I could know how they're doing. Aye, let's hope so. Okay, there's one last place. I can feel it. It's the last piece of my body.
Is the last place somewhere around here? Aye, most surely. The precise location seems to be in that house on the beach. There are a lot of wooden planks on this conch house, but they don't look like what we're after. Oh, could it be the one on the stone? What is it, though? A board nailed onto two wooden strips with a wooden mallet next to it? This is a musical instrument? Uh, can it really make a decent sound? Why don't we try it out first before giving it to Mitoboru? Paimon's pretty sure this instrument hasn't been repaired in a long time. Well, this must be the last fragment of Mitoboru's body. Come on, let's go tell him! You're back! How did it go? Did you find anything? This is indeed my last piece! But what the festering fish bait have they turned me into this time? We think it's a musical instrument, but it hasn't been fixed for a while, so you can't really play anything with it. Is that so? Ah, a pity to be sure. Musical instrument. <laughs> I never imagined that my broken body could be used to play music. It makes me think of my old mates. They used to sing when the mood took them. They'd sit by the beach facing the campfire. Hey, what kind of sound does this instrument make? Why don't you give it a try? Uh, it hasn't been caulked for a long time, so it might not sound as good as you're hoping. It doesn't matter. Satisfy my curiosity. Just strike it and see what happens. found a way back. Aye, but since I was so badly damaged, it was the most I could do to bring them here. There was no way I could go back with them. Ah, oh, it gladdens me heart to know that they are safe, but I... Even though I said goodbye to them, I still can't help thinking, what if I could have gone back with them? Oh, how I wish we had returned together. With them, I would have been willing to go anywhere. No matter how dangerous. There are so many grand adventures for us to go on. So many treasures out there in the world waiting for us to discover them. Why did I have to be left here abandoned like this? I could do nothing but watch them leave and embark on a new journey without me. Laugh when you feel like crying and press on when you feel like giving up. That's how you survive out on the ocean. Anyway, thank you for helping me remember all of this. Thank you kindly. I'm afraid, though, that they seem to have taken most of the treasure with them when they left. Yeah! In a way, all the things you sensed really were invaluable treasures. To you, at least. Hi, it's true. Tis a shame I can't repay your kindness. As a ship, there's only so much I can do. But, um, in the future, if I ever need your help again... We'll be here for you whenever you need us, Mitaboru. Right? Fantastic! Thank you both. And if you ever voyage in these seas again, I will be your trusty companion. <laughs> Dodoko? Dodoko, where are 